Thank you for visiting our site. This is Angela Jones, registered unlawful detainer assistant here at ldaprolegal.com. And today we're going to be talking about how to terminate tenancy uh, for individuals who have been occupying for over a year, or tenants who have been occupying for over a year. Um, so if in fact the tenants have been occupying for over a year, regardless of the fact if you have a written agreement with them or not, um, you will be required to give them a 60-day notice of termination of tenancy. However, they do need to be considered month to month. And what that means is, is that you don't have a written agreement with them that's a current lease term, right? They're just month to month. You may have started with an initial one-year lease. You may have even renewed that one-year lease into another year, but now that lease is expired and they're considered month to month, and for whatever reason, you wanna regain possession of your property back. So a uh, 60 day notice of termination of tenancy in California for tenants who've been occupying for over a year, it can be a very complex issue depending on you know, where the property is located, if it's county or city jurisdiction, if it's a single family residence or a multiplex, if it's owned by an individual owner, a corporation or living trust. So, it, it can be very complex in the sense that it is always best and highly recommended um, because the laws are forever changing that if you do have a just cause reason to list, to list that just cause reason um, and ideally waive the last month's rent. That's my best recommendation. Um, it's more iron cloud that way. That way, you know, you know for certain that it is um going to stand up in court, assuming it was prepared and served correctly, even with the forever changing laws in California. So uh, some of the just cause reasons would be owner or owner family member moving in, close family members such as uh, mother, father, uh, son, daughter, brother, sister, or withdrawing from the rental market is a big one. Let's say you plan on selling the property or you just don't want to be a landlord anymore and you're not going to rent, rent the property out for, you know, the next 12 months. You do have the right to do that as, as an owner of the property. Um, some of the other just cause reasons are not really very rarely used, but um, for instance, uh, if, you know, county or city deems the property to be inhabitable or, uh, and it caused, you know, major construction is going to occur. Of course, uh, if you do plan on doing any kind of major remodel or construction, then tenants would most likely have first right of refusal to re-rent, and that can be very complex. Um, or, you know, if you're in contract with a buyer who intends on occupying the premises as their primary residence, that's another just cause reason. But most often used is owner or owner's family member moving in, or withdrawing from the rental market for at least 12 months. So um, in some instances, if it's an individual owner and it's a single family residence, depending on what county or city it's located in, uh, you don't necessarily need to have a just cause reason. And that's like as of you know the law right now in 2024, but it is forever changing. So I always highly recommend if you have a just cause reason to list a just cause reason. Uh, and we go over that more uh, once you complete our online intake form and, and review the dynamics of your case. So if you want to get started with our services to prepare and serve a 60-day notice of termination of tenancy, just choose that first option, 60-day notice, and it will ask you a series of questions and we review it and then prepare the notice. And uh, if we have follow-up questions, of course, beforehand, we will send those on over. Uh, and then once it's signed, we will have it served by a registered process server, which is always the most ideal situation. So thank you for tuning in, and we will talk about more ways of terminating tenancy. Look forward to working with you.